Hi everyone, uh, today I will show you an interview question and how you can easily solve it. My name is Aida Lisa and I am a data scientist and data engineer in Safa Creations, which is my own company and the creator of dataacadian.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch. So let's get started with this tutorial. Uh, the problem is a Hakulian vote. So there are n citizens voting in this year's Hakulian election. Each voter writes the name of their chosen candidate on a ballot and places it in a ballot box. The candidate with the highest number of votes win the election. If there are more than one candidate so the program have to order them alphabetically and then choose the first name in the order alphabetically so if we can check here there are a first uh, example when we can see these names Alex, Zaid, Harry, Dave, Zaid, Victor, Harry, Alex, Mary, Mary so we can see that Alex, all these names has two votes. Alex, then we have Zaid, then we have Harry, then we have Mary. So if we order this alphabetically, we can see that we have Alex here, Harry, Mary, and then Zaid. So the first one is Alex. The second example, if we can check this example, we can see that Victor, Sarah, Ryan, Dave, Maria, Anna, Anna, Ryan, Sarah. So these examples as well have two votes. We can see here that Sarah then we can see that Ryan and then we can see that Anna if we order this alphabetically we have Anna we have Ryan we have Sarah so Anna is the winner so let's go with the best part which is coding from collections for the counter then we define a function choose winner we put here the input take the votes we transform the input in a dictionary we initialize initialize the dictionary then we loop over the each value in the dictionary which are the votes the values of the votes okay so put the value here in the dictionary and we initialize the dictionary for each value after that we create another loop value for value for key value in vote dot items So we have this value, we append the key, okay, so we append the key here, we append the key in each value, after that we append the key, dictionary append the key, 
then we create a variable when we can have the max values all the max values we sorted the keys which are the names with a reverse with the reverse order and we take only the first only the first subset after that check if we have more than max vote or we only have max vote so we check the link of the dictionary max vote if this is more than one okay we have a problem here mm, let's check this this one okay we don't need this this is redundancy okay after that we return a subset if we have more than one max vote and here else we return object max vote okay return the first one we so after that we put our example so we create the main function to call our winner function so main input okay let's take it from here take this example from here okay this is good good stuff good stuff print winner then we put the input here run the program and it says alex is good but let me explain it better so the first thing we print let's see the dict value dict value let's print this here we have Alex, Zaid, Harry, Mary, Mary. Okay. We have only this four. Mm. So we append this four. Okay. Dict value. After that, print this. Print input. So this is the input. Okay. Can check the input on all of them and the dict dictionary only have Alex, Zaid, Harry, Mary, which is R, the four with the maximum uh, values. Mm, dict values, let me check this. Dict values, print, votes, values, if we print this. So we can check here, the values we have 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. This one's is 2 for Alex, 2 for Zaid, 2 for Harry, 1 for Dave. Okay, this is the values. Let me print the items for you, my friends. So you can understand it better. Okay, that's it. We have Alex 2, we have Zaid 2, we have Harry 2, Dave 1, Victor 1, and Mary 2. So this is the vote items. This is what counter make. If we see this here, if we print the votes, okay, check this. This is the counter. In the counter you can see Alex 2, Zaid 2, Harry 2, Mary 2, Dave 2, and Victor 2. Take the input and create dictionary which is the key is the name and the value is the number that did name the number of did na this name was in the set after that we have the items 
which is the key and the value we print only then we take this append the keys in the digit value so we have as a value uh, is the number and the key is the name so you can see last one Alex said Mary okay if we sort this you can check this okay print okay if we sort this we can see Alex Harry Mary and Said after sorting we take this put this here so you we only take the first one and you can see it is Alex and that's it my friend thank you very much and uh, I want from you to uh, press the button of like and subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch thank you very much to listen to this tutorial and we will have more in the next week we will have two tutorials every week thank you very much and have a nice day